come and lie down. So you're going to be lying down with your knees bent, your feet hip width apart. And we're going to try and get our stomach muscles drawing in. And we want to keep our pelvis, so our hip bones here and our pubic bone, all on the same plane. Now this is really, really important, okay? Because when you do sit-ups, you want to really get a nice flat stomach. And you're not going to get one if you put your hands behind your head and you lift like this and all this is lifting up. It's not really going to give you what you want. So what you want to do is get these three points, so your hip bones, your pubic bone, all on the same plane and try and keep them in that position as you lift. Okay? So let's interlace the fingers. Take the hands behind the head. Open your elbows up. And then from here, you're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to exhale. You're going to pull the tummy muscles in. Keeping that pelvis still, you're going to start to lift up. Okay, now we're looking at the gap between our knees. You want it to be about the width of a tennis ball. And you're going to inhale there and exhale to come back down. And again, speed is not what we want. We want strength. We want controls. You're going to exhale. You're going to draw the abs in. You're going to keep your pelvis still. And you're going to keep pulling in as you lift. This actually works for them so well. Deep breath in. And exhale as you come back down. So inhale to prepare. Exhale, pulling the tummy muscles in, lifting up. Inhale there. Exhale to come back down. So you take a breath in, you breathe out, you pull the belly inwards as you lift up, and you hold it at that top position. You take a deep breath in, you breathe out, you pull the belly in once again as you go back down. Let's do two more. Deep breath in, breathing out to lift. Inhale there, and exhale to lower, and deep breath in. Exhale to lift, inhale there, and exhale to lower. Now we're going to add a rotation to this move. So the same principles apply. You're going to take a breath in. You're going to breathe out. You're going to lift up. We're going to keep that pelvis in position. And you're going to inhale there. And as you exhale, you're going to rotate to your right. Now don't let your hips move. Keep them nice and still. Breathe in as you come back to the center. Breathe out as you go the other way and back to the center. So it's an exhale to rotate and inhale to center and exhale to rotate. So I'm working really hard at trying to keep my hips from going with my body and center. Exhale to rotate. Inhale, center. Once more each side. And center. And center. Now take a deep breath in here. Breathing out. You're going to take your body all the way down. You can extend your arms out overhead. So we don't want them down like this because we don't want the ribs sticking up. So think about really pressing those ribs down, taking your arms overhead. I've got my eyes closed because it's so lovely and sunny here in Madeira. So we're going to lift the legs up. So one leg into tabletop, other leg into tabletop knees and ankles together. Then from here, you're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to breathe out. Sweep the arms up and over and lift the chest. And then you're going to inhale to lower. And again, it's not about the speed. It's about the quality of the movement. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Inhale, to lower. Now we're going to bring the hands over. We're going to put them on the right knee. And then you're going to have your left leg forward at about a 45 degree angle. And then from here, what you can do is take a deep breath in. You're going to exhale. You're going to switch legs. And every time you switch, you're pulling your belly inwards towards your spine. Okay? So it's deep breath in. Exhale, switch. Inhale. Exhale, switch. Let's do two more. Two. 
One. Now this time you're going to keep the legs the same, but you're going to lift your head and chest up and continue. Deep breath in. Exhale to switch. 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 And switch. Four. Three. Good. Two. And one. Now you're going to stay here. You're going to take your hands behind your head. Okay, keeping that chest up. We're going to continue. Here we go. Deep breath in. Exhale, switch. And switch. 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 Good. Four, three, two, one. Are you feeling your abs yet? We're going to keep them going. Here we go. You're going to turn towards that knee. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, switch. And switch. And switch. I can feel it already. And switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Now you're going to take a deep breath in as you bring both knees in. You're going to exhale, pulling the belly in and sending the legs out. This one is a killer. You're going to inhale in. Exhale to go out. Now really push your back into the ground so you're not arching your back. Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in. Exhale out. Inhale in, and reaching out, last one in, and reaching out, well done, good, so from there we're going to turn onto our side, okay, and you're going to have your elbow right underneath your shoulder, like this, okay, and we're going to stretch those legs out, okay, we're going to put this leg over the top of this one, make sure that elbow is underneath, all right, we're going to lift up from here. So try not to sink into your shoulder. You want to push down into your elbow so you're lifting up through here. Tummy in, one hip above the other, hands on your thigh, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to lift up now. So you're going to breathe in to lift up. Bring the arm all the way up. And as you breathe out, you're going to reach that arm over and try and lift a little bit higher. And you're going to inhale to the T and you're going to exhale to lower down. Let's do it again. So you're going to inhale to lift. Exhale to come over. Inhale to the T. And exhale to lower. So it's working obviously the side of your abdominals. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Inhale. And lower. Good. Deep breath in. I think this is number four. And inhale. And lower, let's do five. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over. Inhale to the T. And exhale to lower. All right, let's do the other side now. So you're just going to switch to the other side. So elbow once again underneath the shoulder. Let's reach those legs out. Okay, all right. So one foot on top of the other. We're going to lift up through the body. Hand on the side here. Breathing in to lift. Breathing out as you go over. Inhale to the T and exhale to lower. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale over. Inhale to the T and lower. So really think about working the side of the body. You're pushing into that elbow, trying to create a lovely shape, like the shape of a rainbow, to the T and lower down. Three more, I think. Inhale and exhale. Inhale to the T and back. Good. Deep breath in and over. Inhale and back. Let's do this the last one. Inhale and exhale and inhale. Now you're going to stay here. We're going to turn. So this hand's going to come down and we're going to turn. So we've got our elbows down and we're in a plank position. Okay, so you've got to draw in here. Draw in here. You don't want the back rounded. You want to draw those shoulders down. Then you're going to breathe in knees lower. Breathe out, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So try and hold the position. That's why we get all the work with this one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And last one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You're going to lower those knees down. You're going to reach your body back. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is start by lengthening through the spine. You're going to take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to pull the tummy muscles in, and you're going to start to tuck your tailbone under. Think of a little doggy with its tail between its legs. It's that kind of feeling really drawing the tummy in and then letting the lower back round. And then you're going to take a breath in there. You're going to breathe out. You're going to uncurl from the tailbone, going all the way back in the other direction. Lifting that head up for a little stretch through the upper spine. And again, you're going to take a deep breath in. So exhale, pull your belly inwards, tucking the pelvis under, tucking as much as you can. And then you can just lower the head down. And you're going to take a deep breath in. And you're going to breathe out as you go back in the other direction. So really important with any workout, but particularly with the ones that I deliver, is that we take our time. Deep breath in, exhale. It's not about rushing, it's about concentrating on what you're doing, tucking the tailbone under, drawing the abdominals in, just letting that head drop down. And then you're going to inhale there and exhale as you go all the way back into what we call a neutral position if you know your Pilates. Otherwise, you want your back as lengthened as possible. Now draw your shoulder blades down your back and slide your right leg back. Okay, now keeping your hips as still as possible, you're going to breathe out to lift the leg and breathe in to lower. So you're going to exhale to lift and inhale to lower. Good. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. So this is working the bottom and the backs of the legs and lower. Good. And exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. We're going to do two more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Now we're going to lift that leg up. You're going to flex it at the knee and flex it at the foot. So you've got a little right angle here. And then what we're going to do is imagine we're pushing that foot up to the ceiling. So we're going to push up two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do it again. And two, two, three, four, five, six, seven again. And three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last set. And four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you should be really feeling those bottom muscles now. You're going to breathe in as you bring your knee in, rounding your spine, bring your knee towards your head, and then you're going to breathe out as you send that leg back. And again, you're going to inhale to draw in, and exhale to go back. Good. Inhale in, and exhale back. Three more. Inhale in, and exhale back, inhale in, rounding that spine, exhale back, and last one, inhale in, and exhale back, well done, so we're going to bring that knee back under the hip, and let's go on to the other leg, so you're going to slide that left leg back, draw the tummy in, draw your shoulders down, and you're going to exhale, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, and lower. Lift, and lower. Two more, and lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Now lift that leg back up. So it's a straight line out from your hip. You're going to bend at the knee, bend at the ankle, and then we're going to go up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, and three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm feeling that one now. We're going to breathe in as you bring the knee in, rounding the spine, breathing out as you take the leg back. You're going to inhale in and exhale back. Inhale in. And exhale back. Good. Inhale in. And exhale back. Let's do two more. Inhale in. Exhale back. 
and inhale in. Exhale back. Well done. Okay, so from here, we're going to go into a press up. So I'm going to do a modified version for ladies. Okay, uh, well, that stuff for ladies can be for anyone really. Um, so what you're going to do is put your hands down. You're going to walk your knees back slightly. Bring the legs together. You're going to leave your chins on the floor. You're going to draw your tummy in, okay? And you're going to widen the arms slightly. So you want to be a straight line. So if you're looking under here, ideally we're in a nice straight line there, okay? And then what you're going to do is breathe in to lower down. Breathe out to push up. You're going to inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Good. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Inhale lower. Exhale lift. Inhale lower, exhale lift one more, inhale lower, exhale lift. And then from there, you're just going to sit the bottom back, give yourself a little stretch before we do the next set. Okay, so just let everything relax down. Take a couple of breaths. And then we're going to come back into position. So we're going to do another press-up now, but we're going to have the hands right underneath the shoulders. So this is to work the backs of the arms. Same position with the legs. And think of the elbows pushing backwards, okay, and pushing into the heels of the hands. So you're going to breathe into lower, breathe out to lift. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Good. Inhale lower. So you can really feel this one on the backs of the arms. It's great for toning the backs of the arms. And inhale lower. Exhale, lift one more time. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good. And then from there, we're going to bring the knees in. We're going to tuck the toes under. And then from there, we're going to lift the bottom all the way up in the air. We're going to push the weight back towards the legs. So think of really pushing your chest towards your thighs. Now, I want you to lower the heels into a nice stretch of the calves. You're going to lift the heels, and then you're going to come down into a plank position. And again, you're going to lift up. You're going to lower the heels. You're going to lift the heels and lower down. And again, we're going to lift up and lower the heels and lift the heels and come down. Let's do two more. Lifting up and lowering the heels. Lift the heels and down. Last one and up and lowering the heels. Lift the heels, coming into your plank position. You're going to bring the right foot in, the left foot in, and you're going to come and sit on your mat. Okay, so from here, we're going to have the legs out in front of us, and then from there, we're going to have our hands behind us, fingertips pointing out for now. Okay, so I'm going to give you the simplest versions because I don't want you to cause yourself an injury. All right, so you're going to bring the tummy muscles in, and then from there, you're going to breathe out, push into the heels, into the shoulders. We're going to lift up. We're going to look up towards the sky. And then you're going to inhale as you lower. So really good for strengthening the shoulders, this one, as well as the bottom muscles. You're going to exhale, lifting up. And inhale as you lower. Good. And again, exhale, lifting up. Inhale, to lower. Good, exhale, lifting up. Inhale, to lower. And last one, exhale, lifting up. And inhale, to lower. Well done. And then from here, what we're going to do is a little roll up. Okay, so you're going to stick your arms out in front of you. You're going to lift up through the body. Shoulders down. You're going to take a deep breath in. You're going to breathe out. You're going to draw your tummy muscles in and you're going to start to move back. We're not going to do a full roll up yet. Just going to do a little prep and you're going to inhale. Exhale. You're going to draw the tummy muscles in. Coming all the way up. We're trying to create a nice C curve in our spine. So we're pulling the tummy in. The back's nice and rounded. And again, deep breath in. Exhale. Coming back, shoulders are relaxed, inhale here, exhale, drawing the tummy muscles in, and coming up, one more deep breath in, and exhale, 
drawing in, coming all the way back. Inhale and exhale. Up. Now we're going to lift all the way up through the body. Lovely stretch, flexing your feet, and then just going to reach forward towards your feet, your toes, wherever you can get to. And just take some deep breaths there. And then you're going to slowly just unravel the spine, coming all the way up. And that's it for today. Well done. See you soon.